Hi guys, thanks for joining us on this video about the pH of oranges. So what exactly are oranges composed of? From a macronutrient perspective, all of our foods are composed of three things, fats, proteins, and carbohydrates. There is no fat in oranges. There is a very, very small amount of protein. So what oranges are mainly composed of are carbohydrates. And in particular, oranges are sugars, so fructose and sucrose. From a micronutrient perspective, they are really, really great. They're full of vitamin C, which is what oranges are really um, famous for. They also have quite a lot of thymine, which is a B vitamin. They have some folate and they have a lot of antioxidants. This beautiful, bright orange color is um, really, really rich in antioxidants. And what gives them their characteristic sour taste is citric acid. So. There's that word, acid. We're talking about pH. There's no doubt that oranges are good for our bodies from all those micronutrients, but is the acid any good for our teeth and what effect does that have on them? Not all orange juices are created equal. Here I have four different ways that are really popular for us to consume orange juice. We have the beautiful, fresh oranges themselves and a little citrus squeezer here. These oranges are from Harvey in the southwest of Australia. We are also in the southwest of Australia today. It's so, such a beautiful area. So we're gonna test these ones. This next one here is Nudie. Now this is nothing but oranges. There's no preservatives, no added sugar, and it's not made from orange concentrate. The next one along is Harvey Fresh orange juice, but this one is made from um, orange juice squeezed and reconstituted. Okay, flavors, preservative, and color. This one here is an orange drink. So this, the main ingredient in this one is water. The next main ingredient is sugar. And then the third ingredient is reconstituted orange juice. And it also has preservatives and colors, okay? So not all orange juices are created equal, both from a nutritional perspective and from an acid perspective. Let's get into it and test them. pH of the freshly squeezed midnight oranges, 3.9. We know that a pH of less than 5.5 is gonna start to suck the minerals out of our teeth. So freshly squeezed orange juice is definitely in that teeth um, damaging category. So our nothing but oranges, 100% orange juice, no added preservatives or flavors or sugars. Also pH of 3.9, they are the same pH. Great. Thirdly, we have the Harvey Fresh 99% reconstituted orange juice. This one does have added preservatives and colors. pH, also 3.9, the same pH as the freshly squeezed orange juice and as the nothing but oranges. Pretty cool. Lastly, our orange sea fruit drink has a pH of 3.3. So this is the most acidic, all the rest were 3.9. This one is the most acidic. Now, how does this affect your teeth? All of them having a pH of less than 5.5 will suck the minerals out of our teeth and put us at a higher risk of cavities and erosion damage. You can check out our other video on soda water and see how I talk about, it's like the Dementor sucking the minerals out of our teeth, like it sucks the mineral, sucks the souls out of people in Harry Potter. From a nutritional perspective, you can't go past freshly squeezed orange juice. So these two, the fresh orange juice and the nothing but oranges, they're gonna give you the best nutritional value. If you like the taste of these, great. I'm not saying orange juice is bad at all, but just be aware of how you're consuming it. From a sugar point of view, we can see on the labels here that per 100 mils, there is 10 grams of carbohydrates. Of that 7.6 is sugar in the nothing but oranges. In the orange fruit juice, um, it is 11 grams of carbohydrate of that 9.6 grams is sugar. Here is our friend Coca-Cola. Coke is notorious for being high in sugar. Per 100 mils, there are 10.6 grams of sugar. So the same amount of sugar, if you were to have a glass of Coke, 
and a glass of orange juice. That's pretty crazy. I was standing behind someone at a food truck and there was freshly squeezed orange juice happening and the mother said to her son who was about nine or 10 years old, yep, you can get the orange juice. It's got no sugar in it, it's good for you. Now, she's right that it doesn't have any added sugar, but there is heaps and heaps of natural sugar in orange juice. So you still got to be aware that what you're consuming, while it has a lot of good minerals and antioxidants in it, is still high in sugar. From a teeth perspective, the bugs on your teeth eat sugar and convert it to acid, and that acid is going to do damage. The bugs don't care that it's sugar from a really delicious natural whole orange. They don't care. It's all the same sugar. It's the same sugar to them as it is that comes out of a can of Coke. So when you consume things like fresh orange juice, fresh any kind of fruit juice really, just be conscious of the sugar and the acid that's going into your mouth. I'm definitely not saying not to have it, just be conscious of the way you have it. So have it in it one sitting. Don't sip on it for long periods of time because the, the more time that it spends in your mouth, the longer that acid is sucking the minerals out of your teeth. After you have it, have some just plain water afterwards to rinse your mouth out to try and get some of that acid and sugar residue off your teeth. Don't use sparkling water. You can check out our other video about that because sparkling water is carbonated, carbonic acid. It's also um, acidic, so you just want to use regular plain tap water or filtered water is fine, just nothing with bubbles in it. If you enjoy having orange juice for breakfast, consider either brushing your teeth before you drink it or waiting 30 to 40 minutes after you've consumed the orange juice to brush your teeth. The reason for that is that the acid in the orange juice softens your um, tooth structure, softens the enamel, and if then you go and brush straight after you've had it, you can abrade away or wear away that strong protective coating on your teeth. Whereas it takes the average person about 40 minutes for our saliva to naturally bring the pH back up to a safe level above 5.5. So after you've waited about 30 to 40 minutes, then it's safe to brush your teeth again. It's up to you how you want to drink orange juice, but I know which one I'm going for. I'm definitely going to go for these beautiful, freshly squeezed Southwest oranges. Cheers, everybody. So good.